So I try to pare this down into really simple, simple steps. And uh, because we talk about creating the future all the time. It's in all of our materials, and I'm not our, I'm talking about the our in general, right? You know, if you go to a school, if you go to a, you know, a financial advisory firm, wherever it might be, it's, we're talking about creating the future. But what lacks in that is how to actually get started. We like to talk about the future, but we don't know how to think about the future. And so I've boiled these down into three key skills, three areas that if you can master these, even if you just master one, you can truly start creating the kind of future you want to see. And the first is the ability to be more aware, to expand your awareness. What I mean by that is, is being more aware of the dominant narratives and the ideas that are out there today. I mean, we are influenced by so much. We are, uh, whether it's a political party, a religion, uh, nationalism, you, know, you name it, these are on the macro, right? And so being aware of what these narratives are is important, but even more important than that is being aware of what your personal narratives are, right? The, we hear the analogy that this is a story that we're writing, but for a lot of people, somebody else is writing that story. So if you can expand your awareness about what is going on, about what role you're being cast in, about what role and what potential you actually have uh, as, it, as it relates to the future that you can create, if you become more aware of that, then you can take a more active role in either rewriting that role or you can uh, edit the script. You know, the list goes on. So that's the first step. The next thing is reimagining what is possible. If you can expand your awareness and you are more aware of how the world is working, the driving forces that are shaping the world, then you can start to question these dominant narratives. You can start to question the roles that you've been given and start to reimagine what else might be possible. You can listen to the experts. You can listen to those that uh, have studied you know, emerging trends. You can talk to technology gurus and inventors. But then you can start to ask questions that maybe they're not even thinking of. We don't always have to accept the outcome that is being presented to us. We can start to question those things and, and see how it may change the future in general in a way that other people may not be realizing. When you have the freedom to do that, it brings you to that third skill that I've talked about, and that is creating new realities. If we reimagine what is possible, if we are aware of what's going on, then we can actually start to create the kind of future we want to see. We can actually start to influence the discussion. We can change the conversation. We can be intentional about what we're doing so that we're laying the groundwork for the type of future that we want to see unfold. Because the reality is this, is that there are those that are doing that now. Some for good purposes, others for nefarious. But the reality is, is depending on what side of that you fall on, at the end of the day, if you're not involved one way or the other, then you have to settle for what somebody else is, is giving to you. And so what I want more people to do is to think this way, to have these skills that allow them to be more aware, allow them to reimagine what's possible, and then allow them to create new realities, allow them to imagine how the future may unfold, and then start taking intentional action today to make it happen.